Osaka is champion in Australia for the second time. And Serena smashes Steffi's record. Third time lucky for Lena. She is the queen in 2014. United seven match points to win her third consecutive Australian Open singles title. Steffi Graf wins the Australian Open for the fourth time. And this is a moment that she will never forget. Our right to be here on this court has been fought for over time. They provided the money for men's Davis Cup teams to go overseas every year, but nothing very much was done for women. If you got a $10 voucher, you were doing very well. We just had to rely on playing ourselves and doing what we could. It was all men's tennis. Women didn't get a look in. Pushing back was not for the fairer sex until a tennis icon set her sights on the establishment. There was nine of us that started women's professional tennis. What we wanted would be a place for any girl born in the world to be able to compete, to be appreciated for her accomplishments, not just her looks, also to be able to make a living. We were making $14 a day. The right to play wasn't always a rite of passage. Equal prize money was a fight for the message more than the money. We wanted to give a chance to girls to be able to make a living out of what they wanted to do. Guess how much money I won for, for getting to the finals? $6,000. Activism in sport isn't new. I'd like to thank Renee Richards without uh, whose help. I don't know if I would have been able to win this tournament. It takes courage to speak out. I told you. I am not causing a disturbance here. I can't tell that. This is out of control. Dramatic. Women can have it all. The glamour final. Being fit was about fitting in. You don't have to wear a dress to your ankle to be a female player. Keeps everyone guessing as to what she will wear. Being a trailblazer in anything is honourable. While men hunt the prize. Is nine Australian Open titles. Women prize the progress. Why not be the first Arab to win a Grand Slam? To inspire many young generations back home. We are stronger together. There's a reason why I picked up a racket. Babies. The last time I was here, I was actually pregnant and playing at the same time. Backstories. I've been through a lot of things, you know, my life. We didn't know if I was able to hold the racket again. Retirements. A chapter of your life is gone. Rivalry. Chris and I played 80 times. <laughs> Comebacks. She's officially back now. I can't believe still that I'm here. Well, it's been one of the great sports stories in recent years. Winning titles takes hard work. We must never forget to celebrate the wins. A century of superstars. The players today are living my generation's dream. 100 years of women at the Australian Open.